The video footage for this episode doesn't come from a bus, but from an SUV as part of a multi-stop tour I took. For someone without a car, like myself, taking a tour that hits multiple destinations in one day is a pretty good deal. On this tour, the driver narrated for much of the drive, pointing out different things as we drove along. I want to be respectful of the work they put into their presentation, so I am not including the audio from the car. You'll have to take their tour if you want to hear what they have to say. Instead, I've replaced the audio with some interior car ambience I recorded from a different car ride. This tour started in Hunts Gardens, and I have another video on my channel from the footage I shot there. From Hunts Gardens, we drove straight to the east coast near Bathsheba Beach, before heading north along the coast, through the Scotland District, and ending the tour at St. Nicholas Abbey. The east coast in general is far less populated than the southern or western parts of the island. A lot of the drive to the coast is obstructed by bushes and trees, but there are occasionally pockets of small communities. The road along this portion of the coastline is right up against the beach. If a tropical storm hit here, you wouldn't need a car for this road, you'd need a kayak. Or snorkeling gear. This part of Bathsheba Beach is called the Soup Bowl and is internationally known as a top-notch surfing location. For those directionally astute viewers, you may notice we're driving south right now. That's because there's a fantastic lookout point near Bathsheba Beach that our tour guide showed us before we headed north up the coastline. A lot of the drive around the eastern part of Barbados reminds me of driving through rural Midwest America, except for the palm trees. The palm trees are the only difference. This next minute of video is what I consider a perfect example of a scenic coastline drive. Just a quaint, peaceful part of the island. So idyllic.
The Scotland District is so named because it geographically resembles Scotland. This part of the island is prone to landslides, so it's sparsely populated. As the tour guide pointed out, the rock sticking out ahead was some of the first land to pop out of the ocean when Barbados was first formed. Barbados isn't a volcanic island, but is instead made up of over 85% coral limestone. Because limestone acts as a natural purifier, the water in Barbados is very high quality. While at our last stop on the tour, we went to a well-known scenic spot on Cherry Tree Hill. I took this photo, which shows the view of the coastline that we just drove through. Thank you all for joining me on this tour, and I'll see you in the next video.